Mind-muscle connection is very simply the ability to feel and flex a muscle when performing an exercise. The ability to focus a high amount of tension, really squeeze that targeted body part, as opposed to moving the weight from point A to point B. The main factor people miss when weight training, even outside of using the correct amount of weight, is really our ultimate goal, taking that specific targeted muscle to failure. You know, if you're doing a bench press for chest growth, ideally your chest is getting hammered as opposed to your front delt and triceps. But that's not always the case. This is the main focus of today, removing those accessory muscle groups, even with compound exercises. One overarching rule is that the larger your muscles are, the easier they are to stimulate. So once you get to a certain point, you will inevitably see progress if you get to it. I did a whole video on that explaining how you start with lightweight, you get the muscle to a certain size, there's less of a margin of error in stimulating that muscle. So you need to have this strong mind-muscle connection to use light weights effectively, but using too heavy of a weight also impairs mind-muscle connection, shifting focus to the tendons, the ligaments, the accessory muscles that we're not focusing on taking to failure. The reason we really need to have a good mind-muscle connection when using light weight is because when you passively move the weight, you know, the point A to point B style of lifting, a lighter amount of weight doesn't activate as many muscle fibers as a heavy weight. You know, you could have one person curling a 10 pound dumbbell that is absolutely tearing their bicep to shreds and another person that is just working his wrist, tendon and shoulder. The first person is actively flexing their muscle on the concentric part of the movement and actively stretching their muscle on the eccentric part. The second person would be more focused on just moving the weight and yeah, he might feel something in his biceps, just not as much as he should and not as effectively on each repetition. And this is partially why many people see more success using heavier weight than lighter weight. If you don't have that mind-muscle connection, if you're not focused, the heavier weight generally yields better results for the average Joe. So it's this weird scenario where using proper form with a lighter weight is more effective and that should compromise more of your routine, but people typically can't execute that, so they end up using a heavier weight. When you do use that heavy weight, however, it can be incredibly difficult to establish the mind-muscle connection to take only the chest to failure with something like a flat bench press. I would bet that 99% of people are not properly flexing and stretching their chest throughout the movement. You know, a good contrast example here is when I saw Jay Cutler training with Mike O'Hearn. Jay was using a lighter weight to really stimulate the muscle while Mike was going heavy for the sake of going heavy. One thing we have to consistently point out is the use of performance enhancing drugs. Jay benching two plates as a light weight is not something that should ever be compared to a natural bodybuilder. So the heavy weight is putting a maximum amount of tension on all muscle groups involved in the movement. For bench press, that would be chest, front delts, and triceps. But what muscle is going to failure first? If your goal is chest, I hope it's not your front delts. If you lower the weight, you can actively focus on squeezing the chest. So instead of using 200 pounds, putting 90% tension on your chest, 80% on your triceps, and 100% on your shoulders, you can use 150 pounds, put 80% on your chest, and only 20 to 30% on your triceps and shoulders. Yes, when you lower the weight, you're reducing the tension on the main muscle group you're working, at least, at that static point in time for one rep, but if your shoulders have more tension and go to failure before your chest, that doesn't matter. Simply by doing more repetitions, reducing the rest time, and really focusing on that chest flexion, you'll be able to effectively take your chest to failure with a lighter weight. This is interesting to me because I don't really hear other people talking about it. When you reduce the weight, you aren't necessarily doing that much less with the main muscle group. If you're really good with mind-muscle connection, you can reduce the activity of those accessory muscles so much that you burn out, shred, really take that chest to failure using a light weight. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't bench press or do a compound movement with heavy weight. I think they can effectively be incorporated into a workout routine and the majority of people will see benefits, but by no means do I see them as necessary. And if you want to build a symmetrical, balanced physique, it may be better for some people to focus more on this concept. Can you have a strong mind-muscle connection with 
heavy weight. Yes, but as we mentioned earlier, you know, once your muscles are larger, if you're taking steroids, massive amounts of performance enhancing drugs, you will likely grow your muscles to a large enough point very rapidly. It's obvious, you can stimulate something that isn't there, and especially when starting out, smaller muscles don't require heavy weights for growth. By using the correct weight, we're able to get our muscles to the size where we don't have to focus as much to maintain that mind-muscle connection. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this gives you some ideas to incorporate into your own workout routine. If you guys do wanna reach out to me for consulting, go to frank stefanocom I'll try to get my training website up in the very near future. If you guys do wanna support me, please just drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, and above all, if you could please share the video on social media. If you guys do wanna support me further, you know how to do so down in the description. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoy your workout.